Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys is doing? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to yet another episode of Mrs. Just Reaction. And uh, I hope you guys are holding up pretty good, man. Um, this is not a musical reaction. Uh, I just want us to talk about something which a whole lot of people have been uh, talking about it. And I do think that as a son of the soul, man, as an African myself living out in the diaspora, I think that we need to definitely address the situation or maybe we should just talk about it now if you don't know what i'm talking about man i'm talking about the whole gibbet arena situation man um a couple of days ago man uh the south sudanese basketball team uh they almost beat well they super exceeded everybody's expectation and when i say everybody i'm talking about basketball enthusiasts if you love the game of basketball, you would know that coming into the game, uh, they were like way, 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 way underestimated. But uh, it came down to the wire where, you know, LeBron James had to come through to win it for them. And even right up to the, to the last seconds, man, it was just some, you know, some, uh, let me just say this, the US team got lucky. Now that went down and during the game and uh, the South Sudanese team were, you know, they led uh, the, 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 the US dream team and uh, people were impressed. I for one, I was like, whoa, who is this Khalid Jones? But bro, the team came in and they came in full force. Now this is not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about um, the hateful comments of uh, a fellow black brother, man. Um, yes, Mr. Gibbard Arenas, man, when he was in the Washington Reason, man. Yes, and, and I love this man, man. We I supported this man, I mean, like. And for this brother to just come off and what he texted. Now, I'm going to paraphrase. Um, first of all, um, let me say this. Have you ever noticed that uh, in America, man, uh, African Americans always think that everybody from Africa is just like subhuman to them I've never understood why blacks in America well let me just say every black man some blacks in America man they do think that uh they do have a very poor image or uh, they look at the continent of Africa as a dead end like uh, they don't even matter so this brother um posted uh, during the game when the, the Sudanese were actually outplaying uh, the American team and they, he was like uh, how can we be losing to I'm paraphrasing right how can we be losing to the Ahi Ahi tribe now I don't know what that means but I think this is really really derogatory and just sheer ignorance uh, we are playing people who don't have shoes we ship shoes to these people from America. Joel Embiid is out there selling the game to his cousins. Now, as ignorant as this man is, forget the fact that he has money. As ignorant as Gibbard Arenas is, Joel Embiid is Cameroonian. And that's not to take anything from the fact that if you are from any part of Africa, any country in Africa, we are related. And to think that this was coming from a black fella. Yes, some people would be like, oh man, uh, he black, but he, he you know, he, he was born to Cuban parents. Bro, Cuba, Afro-Cubans, I've been there. I know a whole lot of Afro-Cubans who are gladly rec they, I mean, they recognize the continent of Africa and there are even cultures there are even things going on in Cuba that you can see similarities with what is you know their, their, their distant cousins in Africa but this man saying all of that ladies and gentlemen this man has money I mean he's not supposed to exit any person he has a platform and and I do sincerely do hope that this should be categorized as hate speech and for somebody who played the game of basketball at the level this man played i'm talking about before being moved out of america going to china and then having a failed career over there and coming back but let me just say this for somebody to be this ignorant in 2024 and to think that just because 
America is America and there's no other country around the world that can beat America in basketball. That is the stupidity of the century. Now remember when the, the runner man, uh, Lyles, talked about when you win the NBA, you talk about you are the champion of the world when you are just playing in America. This is what that man was talking about, man. Yes, the runner, Lars, go check that ish out. That when he said that that ish gave a whole lot, it was like a whole lot of commotion online. But let's fast forward to this man's statement. Mr. Gilbert Arenas, check this out. Um, the fact that America is uh, known for basketball this Olympics you definitely will be shocked let me just say this um, the game of basketball is a beautiful game that game is now a global game it is no longer oh uh, Americans have the upper hand heck America have lost a whole lot of times during the Olympics yes we know that you feel me a whole lot of countries have beaten America in the Olympics and the way the Sudanese, the South Sudanese team played, I do pray that if they meet again in this competition, I want the South Sudanese team to go all out and whoop that ass again. Let me just say this, ladies and gentlemen. I have nothing against the, the team that played, but when we have blacks, African Americans, rich African Americans thinking like this, two as Africans, the fact that he said they don't have shoes and we ship shoes to them, it goes to just show you that the whole notion of the house nigga and the field nigga is still real to today. Remember when Jay-Z did the OJ situation? House nigga, field nigga, still nigga. You feel me? And for this man to ignorantly just express his ignorance on the global platform like his, and the internet, it definitely tells you this, that there is something about Africa that annoys a whole lot of blacks out in the world. So let me just say this, I will, I will, I will, I will end this vlog by saying this. If you have the dark skin color, I don't care whether you were born in Cuba or your parents were from Cuba, Honduras, I don't even care, Guatemala, it doesn't even matter you are connected to the motherland and the fact that you are so ignorant to know exactly what part of motherland you came from and to talk down on people a good team from 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 motherland you definitely need to to you, you need to take a step back and ask look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself this question am i smart or i just have money and there's a quote i would say some people are so poor all they have is money. I will repeat that. Most people are so poor, or some people are so poor on earth. All they have is money. Man, and that being said, I want you to leave your comment and let me know exactly what you think. Is Gilbert Arenas okay? Is this man that, uh, that dumb that he doesn't see what he said? Like, to try to express the fact that the game that he played, other countries and other people around the globe are playing it and perfecting it. He thinks that, oh, it's because we are, we ship them shoes, uh, they're playing this and that. And this man, do you think it deserves to issue an apology? That's my time. Hey, be good and keep watching. We are here. Peace.